Hey guys, VDubs here, and today I'm going to give you a simple tutorial on how to make 3D text for YouTube backgrounds and for other purposes. This tutorial will include Cinema 4D, Photoshop, and this, uh, you don't have to use Cinema 4D, you can use any other 3D software like 3DS Max. So at the moment I've already created some lights, which I'm not going to concentrate on right now, but you can do that yourself. And now to start off, I'm going to create some 3D text. Click the MoGraph bar at the top, and then go down until you see Text Object. Go down and push Object, make sure Object is selected, sorry, and then put a line and click that to Middle. As you can see, it moves it to the middle of the Y, X, and Z axis, axes, as I should say. And I'm going to put the text to VDubs. I'm going to push the font, and I'm just going to uh, select a font which I like using, it's called Cafe Neuro and put the depth to 99 and this creates some nice deep fonts and now let's, actually no I'm going to put it down to 60 don't want it that deep so now this is sort of quite deep and it? it looks pretty nice so now you just want to go down to your materials bar and double click as you can see it's creating new material Double click that and you want to go to the top, click colour and then you want to click select your colour. I'm going to click blue and that's now selected. Um, I'm going to leave all the reflection and transparency because that's this is only supposed to be a basic tutorial. And I'm also going to leave the caps um, also away because I want this to be a basic tutorial. Otherwise you can use the caps, Philip cap. So right now I want to position my camera by using the rotate tool. I just want to just put it down a little bit just so it looks quite so you can see the bottom it looks quite it makes it look more 3D and I'm just going to show you an example which I used this 3D text in as I can see as you can see I used it in a YouTube background of mine and it looks pretty it's, it looks it looks professional um as you can see it looks 3D here cuz I sort of put it on an angle so you can see both sides and yeah it looks pretty cool so right now I'm just going to look under and make sure it's straight and turn off that. Um, and now, if I do a quick render by pushing this button, you can see it's all all at the bottom. It looks pretty cool. So now I want to drag on that material we made. Boom! And now we want to put the quick render button again. And now, as you can see, it's nice and blue. So remember, I did have some lights, so that's why it's all lit up. Because now you need to push this button, click lights, and just drag them around and. Just make do your own lights. Now you want to click the render settings button, which is up here. And you want to go to general, make sure that's full render. Go to output, um, do whatever output settings you want. This is just YouTube HD, but make sure your frame range is set to current frame. And you want to go to save, save it to your destination by pushing this to create the path. And you want to make sure format is PNG which is just here. Not JPEG, because that doesn't look as well, it doesn't look as good, but PNG. Make sure Alpha Channel is selected, and all of these just leave as they are. So now I want to push this button, which is actually the full render button, and it will save it to the destination which we selected. So now you want to click the Photoshop button down here, or just open up Photoshop or any photo editing software for, of your choice. And as my p picture, I just no word I just made in fo a Cinema 4D, sorry, uh, jumbled words. It was actually 1280 by 720. I'm just going to create the document to be 1280 by 720, and I'll put the resolution to 72, and it's just going to open up. So now I want to click. Now I want to click file and I'm going to click open. I want to go to desktop because that's where I save mine and I'll go right to the top and everything loads. This is how full my desktop is. <laughs> and I name it Tut. So I'm going to open it up and it actually creates another d uh, document for me. But you just want to make sure the select button is selected, or the move button, and you want to drag it on to the, this document here, which is the one we created. And as you can see, we have now got 3D text into Cinema 4D, and you can actually use this for YouTube background. You can push Control T to um, rotate it, and push Shift to make sure it rotates it in like sections. And we can use this for YouTube background, 
and it should look pretty cool. Um, so this is how you create Cinema 4D 3D text for YouTube backgrounds and for other purposes. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. Please like. Um, I'm trying to get a YouTube partnership within a few months. So hope you enjoyed my tutorials, guys. Bye.